Hey everyone, welcome back to the tax show for people who owe. I'm Dave. And I'm Phil. And today we're going to talk about 80 billion reasons why you may be on the IRS's radar. Phil, why 80 billion? Well, as you know, last year they passed the Inflation Reduction Act. And with that, there's $80 billion allocated on top of the IRS's annual budget. That's massive. And why was the IRS given this amount of funds? Um, I think they're behind the times, both in the level of service they are able to offer the taxpayer and as well as if you don't know, they are the number one revenue producer for the U.S. government. About 96% of all revenue is generated by the IRS? Correct. Wow, important. So they need to pay their bills, as you guys know. So what are some of the things that taxpayers who owe should be aware of with this $80 billion to try to keep them off the radar? Great question. And with the normal things is not paying your taxes, not filing, and most importantly, audits, David. Mm, why audits? Well, part of this funding, there was a call to increase enforcement across the board, in particular, an increase in audits. Does that mean everyone has a higher chance of getting an audit? Not necessarily, David. The Treasury directed the IRS to focus in on those making more than $400,000 of total positive income. So if I'm under $400,000, am I off the hook? You're never off the hook, David, as a taxpayer. You've always said that. So what should I expect? Well, the increased scrutiny is gonna go for those making over 400,000. Everyone else will be in the same situation they were in before, run the same risk of audits. And as always, it is important to file on time, pay on time, and keep good books and records. Got it. So we covered audits. We now know that everyone over 400,000 has a better chance or higher chance of being audited. Let's talk about collection. Are there any mandates on how they're going to use those funds to collect from average Americans? It's not a dollar amount like we saw in the audit uh, campaign, but really we're gonna see almost a 5X number of employees being hired in the next few years focused on collection and enforcement. So you're telling me there's gonna, they're gonna have more resources to collect? More boots on the ground, more agents to knock on more doors and collect more taxes for the US government. With this funding and the additional resources, are they gonna have more tools at their disposal to collect more efficiently? Absolutely, Dave. It's not just about manpower, it's also about the technology and infrastructure that IRS has. And the most important tool they have is data. Data, so they're getting smarter. Smarter, faster, and efficient. Well, that's not good for taxpayers who owe. If you have an unfiled return or you're worried about the data the IRS has on you, don't hesitate to reach out to Optima. We'd be glad to help you with unfiled returns, any tax balance, or any tax matter that's bothering you. That'll close the show for today, folks. Thanks for joining us. Phil, any last parting words? As usual, do something. Whether it's an audit issue or a collection issue, the sooner you act, the better off you'll be. Thank you for joining us today, everyone. We'll see you next time. Hey, everyone. Thank you for watching today. Please be sure to like and subscribe. So you are up to date with all the information you need when you're taking on the IRS. And as always, do something.